When you take a drive through our town, Gibson City, you probably go right through the busiest intersection downtown. Here it is. That's 8th Street and Sangman Avenue. Now, if you look to the side when you're out there, you'll see the town's newest mural, WCI 3s. Amanda Brennan is with us. Amanda, tell us what's the inspiration behind it? Well, the artist says she just wanted to showcase the community making Gibson City what it is. It's a small town with a big heart, and each painted Polaroid photo on the side of Jelco Supply tells a different story capturing exactly that. Gibson City has been rooted in agriculture from day one, um, so they really wanted to showcase that. So Morgan Wellborn got to work in our town, Gibson City. It's the town where she learned how to paint to begin with. Um, I needed a big senior project, and one of my high school teachers had a room that had no windows in it. Um, so we came up with the idea to paint, like, if the walls were blown out of the school, what would you see, like, to the, to the west? That project was a catalyst for her artistic career and led her to create the town's first mural. There's so many different aspects of it, so that's how we ended up with each of the individual pictures and designs from a different aspect to make it more inviting and engaging for everyone in the community. So for this first one here, um, we really wanted to showcase the M&W wagon. Um, it's M&W was a company founded in Gibson City, and it's kind of one of the staple ag pillars of our community. Um, a lot of people have stopped by and said like that's one of their favorite parts because it's what brought their family to Gibson City. Like that's where their roots begin. Other photos show a young boy with a red tractor, vegetables from a garden, a sunset, and even soybeans. The most specific reason I cho chose them is everyone knows what an ear corn looks like. Not everyone knows what an actual soybean looks like. So I wanted to bring those up close and personal um, for them to see that like a farmer's hands, they, they do get dirty. They're very involved. Wellborn poured 80 to 90 hours into painting it and always enjoyed when people would stop to say hi in the process. Um, outside of our four-way stop, um, it is our busiest intersection in town, so it's great recognition for the town and the community and kind of brings some life to downtown after we've had the two fires and just the flooding and all of that kind of destruction. Let's bring some brightness and color back into the community. And she's getting ready to start another mural in town. The next one will be on the side of H&R Block, right by the busy stoplight on 47 on your way into town. Back to you. Art, wherever you look. All right, Amanda, thanks.